We strive to make Asset Tiger the perfect asset management tool for any collection of assets you might have by making Asset Tiger fully customizable. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the asset form. In other words, when you click Add an Asset, what this form looks like. Click on Setup and scroll down to Customize Asset Form. The first thing to note is that this can only be done by an account administrator. The option will not appear for anyone with lower access. And once the admin has made these decisions, the asset form will be changed for everyone who has access to the account. I'm going to click the Add an Asset button again just to show you how the form is set up right now. The first box is Description, and under it is Asset Tag ID, Purchase Date, and Cost. Now I'm going to go back to the Customize Asset Form page. And you'll see that they match description, asset tag ID, purchase date, cost, etc. Now, any changes that I make here on the customize asset form page, after I click the save button at the bottom, will be reflected in the form when you add an asset. Okay, the first thing to note is that this page is organized into groups. To see them all at once, click the minus sign here and on all the groups. If you want to rearrange them, no problem, just click and drag on the hamburger icon and drop it into place. If you want to add a group, click Add a Group, name it, and click Add. See, the new group is down here at the bottom. And we'll get to this new group in a minute. You can also edit the name of any of these groups by clicking here. If you want to delete a group, you can do that with this edit button as well, but only if the group is empty. If you try to delete a group that still has fields in it, you'll get a message to clear it out before you can get rid of it. Okay, back up top. Anything above this line is something that we created, part of the standard form. Anything below is a custom field that you created. In case you don't remember, you can add a custom field by going to Setup and Database. and then click Add Custom Field. There are also entire groups on this page that you, as the admin, can turn on and off. Let's say you want to have information about depreciation on the form, but not funding. Go to Table Options under Setup, and Disable Funding. When you go back, Funding is gone. Now let's expand the first group and rearrange some boxes. Some fields require more space, so they get a full line, like description and asset tag ID. To move them around, just click, drag, and drop. The same goes for these half-line items. But let's say that you want the brand box to be higher, and you'd also like it to be a full line. Click it and drag it up with these other full lines and drop it. It's that simple. You can put things anywhere you like. There are no full lines in this section. That's why you see the blue drop here box. Let's move referral URL up here and drop it. Great, now it's a full line. Now remember I made a new group called Technical Specifications? I'm going to move that group into the second position here. I'm going to expand this group too, because there are some fields that are currently in the Asset Details group above that I'd like to put into the Technical Specifications group. Just click and drag. I'd like these two fields to be full lines. And these two menus side by side underneath. Don't forget to click the Save button at the bottom, and you're all set. Now, when you click Add an Asset, all of those changes will be reflected in the new form. 
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Go to help support and slide down to contact us to see all the ways to reach our Asset Tiger experts in our office in Brooklyn, New York.